All right. Um, I'm here. I'm going to talk to you guys about Elastic and why I think WYSIWYG is the future of WordPress themes. WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. And I'm really glad we just talked about child themes because I think that child themes are the present and that we can do even better than that. So who am I? I'm Daryl Coopersmith. I'm a junior at Washington University in St. Louis and I worked with WordPress on the Summer of Code for 2009 and built Elastic. Um, so I want to ask you guys a question first. What's great about WordPress? Just shout out some answers. All right. I think flexibility <laughs> is what's great about WordPress <laughs> because it caters to everyone. We have basic and intermediate and advanced ways of dealing with things. So anyone can go to WordPress.com and sign up and have a blog and type their heart out. And then if they want to get a little more specific, they can edit HTML or even make page templates. And for theme design, it's kind of the same thing. We have these amazing themes that you can't even tell they're running WordPress and they just use it like a CMS or we have beautiful blogs. And then if you're not that comfortable, you can use child themes like we just found out. But then if you don't even want to use CSS, if you're not comfortable with that, you're stuck with theme options. And I don't really think theme options are flexible. Um, because theme options, they limit you. You can't, you either have a couple where maybe you can change a three column theme into a two column theme but you can't control the size of your columns or you have dozens and you're overwhelmed or you have none and you have to hack the theme files and that's bad for theme developers because then you have to ask theme developers how to change things and there are bugs and that's bad for the users because you don't have flexibility. And I don't know why this is playing. <laughs> Yeah, the, that's, that's the rest of my show. <laughs> where, where do you want to be at? I'm here. Okay. All right. So introducing Elastic, which you just apparently saw a little bit of. <laughs> um, so what you see is what you get theme editor for WordPress. So it's basically taking theme options and throwing them out the window and saying, all right, you can move around your theme. You can create infinite layouts, so anything. It's, there aren't, it's not registering dozens of sidebars. It registers only what you need. And you can lay out the theme the way you want by using a drag and drop editor. And also any style. So you can edit your theme live and see the appearance of your theme change live. Now, Elastic is also designed with developers in mind. So you're not just editing a static HTML file. You're not editing just one theme because WordPress isn't CSS Zen Garden and everyone has different purposes for WordPress. Whether you're using it as a CMS or a blog, the HTML and the content on your page is going to change and the editor should be able to reflect that. So all theme editors and all theme developers can create themes to be used with the editor and it's a very simple process. It's very similar to the current system and is very easy to transfer your themes right now over to that system. And what does that mean for users? Better themes and more control. If you ever wanted to make your theme a little thinner, you could do it. If you want to change the colors, you could do it. If you wanted to add another sidebar, you could do that too. And so, hey developers, I need your help. I want Elastic to become the canonical plugin, like John was talking about, for theme editing. I'm a student. I'm very busy. <laughs> and <laughs> this is a huge project. And I can't do it alone. And if you guys want to see this happen, I would love to have your help and work with you. So with a minute left, we're going to build a theme. So we're going to go really quickly. This is the layout module. And we're going to create a header right here. And we're just going to lay out our theme. We're not going to style. So we're just going to be using the default styles. We're creating three sidebars. And Elastic interprets what you're creating because since everything can have different heights, it will take this and then convert it to a theme. So we're going to save this. We now have he a header, three sidebars, a content block and a footer. Let's save the theme. Activate it. And take a look.
It was done before this. This was my summer of code thing. That's why. Please get in touch. Thank you all.